Hi guys and welcome back. Remember I said we were going to deploy a natural language processing model? Well, here we are. First of all, you're going to download this data set from GitHub. You can download another data set if you want. Either way, you're still going to need to tokenize it and all this stuff. And then do the usual, as you can see. This is an important part of natural language processing. Okay, so same as always, you always upload into the S3 buckets, right? With your output. The only difference here is right here, Blazing Text Classifier latest version. Remember the Get URI image from the other things? Well, there we go. You guys already know about tokenizing all this. These are the hyperparameters. Um, honestly... We're going to set it at 11 epoch, 12 epochs, because last time we need a little more training. And then as you can see, the min count is to the learning rates. Um, I'm going to leave that parameter right there. Early stopping, of it's true, obviously. Yeah, I always like a learning rate of 0, 1, to be honest. The man epochs is obviously five. Trying to make it improve from last time. Okay, so I did this ahead of time. Believe me, this is going to take you some time. Not to upload, but to get into the S3 buckets and all that, depending on your account. Okay, then. We're going to continue. Set the hyperparameters. Train data, validation data, fit, and here we go. But this one should be shorter than last time. Okay, now uh, let's skip while it's training. No point in just watching it train. Okay, uh, there's the sentence. You can put any sentence you want, and then obviously you see NLT tokenize for sentence sentences. There you go. And then put this underneath obviously so you can see it down here pick any sentences you want I <clears throat> then uh, as you know the payload instances tokenized sentences JSON dumps JSON basically dumps what you said and then the text classifier predict the payload the content type applications JSON. You see, last time it was CSV, it was CSV text. This time it's application JSON. Okay, I'm skipping ahead too far. We should be done training soon. Let's see how it did. I tweaked the parameters. I encourage you guys to obviously experiment with the parameters. Use different training data sets, tweak your own methods, but by all means. And always do early stopping equals true, obviously, because if you do early stopping equals false, what if it's learning terribly and it continues for no reason? Okay, preparing instances for training. Okay, now let's go back and review some of this. As you can see, you see the labels, obviously, right? You see how we pre process the data? before we got into the buckets and then we had an out bucket location this one involves a little more coding than the other two things i we did okay here we go 92 percent maybe i should have made the learning rate a little better last time it was at 97 i tweaked it just for you guys 
a lot of words per second, but <clears throat> look at the validation accuracy. It's good, but it's not great. Now let's deploy this thing. You see the validation accuracy? 92%. And then as you guys can see over here, remember, it puts it in the bucket for you. We do that with programming. I mean, by all means, if you want to manually create S3 buckets, but it's, it's easier to do it this way. What I mean by manually create S3 buckets, if y'all are not too familiar with AWS, is let's go. Well, an easier way to get there. S3. While this thing is deploying, better. This is taking too freaking long. Okay, guys, let's go. Let's go back another time. This is taking forever. This thing's going to deploy soon. Let's go back to inference. I was just going to show you guys the go to S3 buckets. You guys get it. Just type S3. Just type in S3. Wait. Believe me, guys, you see how outside manually it takes a long time? You guys don't want to do this to get to an S3 bucket. It's easier to do it with programming on your studio. Okay, well, this has been slow. Okay, let's go to endpoints. Make sure it's creating the endpoint. This is not a machine learning model. This is a natural language processing model, blazing text. By the way, I'm pretty sure you guys know, delete your endpoint if you're just practicing. If you're deploying it for employment purposes or something else or somebody, by all means, continue. If not, delete it unless you want a big bill. and the configuration okay still creating but how we really know how far along it is as we've learned is when it gets to here about then it usually leaves sometimes if it takes a little longer it might get out to here and then it leaves the exclamation mark or uh, another mark which is not good that means it didn't deploy you guys will know Only 54 billable seconds. It's not bad. But I could have made it better. 
How about that the training and validation accuracy are almost the same? See that? And guys, just just so you know, you see how many words a second, right? This is pretty good. If you're gonna automate. This is a cool thing AWS offers, Blazing Text Classifier. Okay, any second now. And then we're going to click ahead of this on time just so you guys see what it does. NLTK, Natural Language Toolkit, if you guys didn't know what that stands for. You guys probably did. Also, Kiros has the tokenizer as well. It's less programming involved. Tokenizer and pad sequences. But we're using NLTK. If you guys want more information on uh, using Kiros for uh, natural language processing and deep learning, please let me know. I've got a tutorial on GitHub, just a simple one. For sentiment analysis. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You see what it did? Okay. Now Jason dumps payload. The instances. Now we're going to predict. Probability of 17% and probability of 50%. It's a company. Hmm. Yeah, next time make the learning rate 005, not 001. Usually learning rates of 001 are, yeah, but not in this case. Okay, these are just some more sentences. But this time, it's going to give you a probability of these ones. Probability I'm talking about a company, which I am, IBM. And technically, I was before the army in the other prediction. Okay, guys, this is it. And then um, we're going to do some tutorials on uh, Google Cloud and uh, a quick one on the Google Colab in the next video. And then after we're done with Google Cloud, we're going to do IBM. Deploying on uh, IBM through IBM Watson machine learning. Believe me, stay tuned. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thank you.